Hello and welcome fans to another edition of JPL in 30, the highlight show for the Jamaica Premier League. Match week 21 in the nation's top flight football competition saw goals in all the fixtures, which ultimately affected the top half of the league table. Our weekend fixtures get things going as we kick off from a new venue for this season as the Drewsland Mini Stadium played host to our Sunday doubleheader which kicked off with Malines United welcoming St. Anne Bay side Limehall Academy. Here are the highlights. There's Limehall, this is how they will be lining up. And they'll be playing with a 4-3-3. Jaheim Williams is between the sticks. Gavin Harrison, the experienced centre-back, comes into the starting lineup with the man who will miss in Darius Stewart, their most talented midfielder is there as well. Carlos Campbell, Jimoy Jones, Devontae Redmond, Marlon Pennycook, their player to watch. Look for him in the wide areas, a very direct, strong forward. Sajay Anderson has already scored this season. The creative element of Corey Mendez is good, and he will link up well with Damani Miller. And, of course, Corey Hilton, who scored last time out in their 6-2 loss at the hands of Vare United. They are coached by Hopeton Gilchrist, who we haven't seen yet. We yeah, haven't seen him so far here, and hopefully... Limehall can perform without his presence. Malines, they sit in 12, comfortable at this point on 17 points, and they're starting 11. The big miss is that there is no Jason Wright, their leading goal scorer and captain. Peter Harrison, Sir Jeannie Frankson, Dane Samuels, Cleon Pusey, Tyreek Wilson, Dennis Nelson, the ever present midfielder, their number seven. Uh, Javon Brown, who will wear the captain's armband this time out. And Daniel Hardy, Johnny Fleming is the player to watch. And Devon Davis comes into the starting lineup. They are coached, of course, by Jermaine Thomas. Not too many changes in this Malines lineup. The full match highlight of Keita Nicholson. FIFA official, the man in charge. And Malines driving forward. Tyreek Wilson from distance. Jaheim Williams was way off his line. And actually gave up on the play. Malines had most of the attacking play coming forward. Daniel Hardy on this occasion driving in, striking, but over the top. And they would have been disappointed that they didn't find a goal in that first half, Malines. This, a very good delivery into the area from Dario Stewart along the six yard line. And an orange shirt should have been at the end of that Carlos Campbell and company. Not to be, and it remained nil all. Javon Brown cutting on to his favorite left foot, stung the palms of Jaheim Williams who had some really good saves in this match. At one point, was a pick for man of the match. Lime Hall, they got it into the back of the net, but illegally off the hand. And Okita Nicholson was right on point. It was a very good call from the central referee to thwart that goal. And it would go into the half, nil all. Then this moment, a deflection off the back of Samuels and Corey Hilton Two goals in two matches for the number 47. Just a slight deflection, but I dare say Peter Harrison, with his quality, will figure that he should have done better. Lots of power behind the strike. But yeah, against the run of play, they were ahead. Then this moment, a bit controversial at first. Dennis was fouled. The ball went into the goal. Initially, Okita Nicholson gave the goal, but his whistle blew before the ball crossed the line. So he had to call it back for a penalty. Maybe should have wait, waited a little to see. And guess what? Jeremy Nelson missed from the spot. Saved by Jaheim Williams. And the score remained at 1 0 up to that point. But Malines, they didn't give up. They kept coming forward. And Cleon Pusey would put this on a dime for Shamara Dennis. Dennis with his first of the season. And Malines were all square after 75 minutes. Lots of expression coming from the Lime Hall defenders, and we do apologize for that coming through the microphone. But wow, what a moment it was for Malines, and they continued to come forward. Oh, Dane Samuel should have taken that for himself there, the center back. Tried to play it across the goal, but that was difficult. Nelson thought the same, that Samuel should have taken the strike. It was not to be. Then substitute Duncan getting into the air, providing this. And it was off the hand, outstretched hand from the Lime Hall defender in Harrison. Penalty, and this time, even though Jaheim Williams went the right way, he couldn't stop that. From Jeremy Nelson, his fourth of the season, Jeremy Nelson and Malines 
with a big three points, 2-1 after 90 minutes. The second half was a lot more lively than the first, and Limehall just a three shots, two on target. Look at that from a line, 16 shots, seven on target, and two goals to show for it. A busy day for Keita Nicholson, got most of the calls right. Eventually, 21 fouls in it and four yellow cards shown. He kept all 22 players on the part, though. Majority of the possession from a line's at 58%, and they had so many corners, 11 of them as well, compared to just Lime Hall's four. Big three points here at the Waterhouse Mini Stadium. It ends. Malines two, Lime Hall one. Lichey Williams is with our man of the match, and it's no other than Shamaro Dennis, their number 33. Yeah, Shamar Dennis, today's man of the match. It was a really good performance from you as you have been consistent all season. How do you feel the team is progressing and how do you feel about getting the win today? Uh, the win is very important toward the team. It's a good three points. The coach said he wanted the three points today and we came out victorious. Coach, it was actually a really good performance in the end. Good fight by your team, but in the end you were just outdone. Well, we can't complain because... It's just a ball game, you know, some you win, some you lose. Well, we're on the losing end, so we have to just give thanks and come again for the next game. Coach Jeremy and Thomas of Malines. Coach, we didn't speak to you before the game, but, you know, we were reliably informed that your team would have a, a much more complete attacking unit today without the uh, services of Jason Wright, your captain. And do you think that your team performed to that level today? I mean, it was ugly one, but gutsy. And I must commend them for that. We went 1-0 down, and um, for a minute... The heads were dropped, but they came back. We made some tactical switches. We wanted to kind of own them a bit, and we did just that. So Malines United pick up just their fourth win this season, whilst condemning bottom club Lime Hall to their 16th loss. We jump into our first break here on JPL in 30. Stay with us as we feature host Waterhouse FC on the other side of the break. Welcome back to JPL in 30. The second match of Sunday's doubleheader saw Mount Pleasant Academy hunting their 14th win of the campaign as they face perennial contenders Waterhouse FC with the last encounter between the sides ending in a draw. Let's pick up the full match highlights. Ladale Ritchie comes into the starting lineup for Mount Pleasant and these are how the, this is how the host will set up. It will be a 4-3-3 formation. John Wilson between the sticks because Kemar Foster on national duty. Dallas. Kamani Stewart comes in, Elvis Wilson, Keithy Simpson, the experienced centre-back, Denardo Thomas, the, player, play, the, the wide player full of flair, Denardo, Navardo player, Christopher Matthews, Shemar Booth, Javain Bryan, the joint leading goal scorer in the league, and Rivaldo Mitchell, who is, well, in a real purple patch so far, four goals on the season for him, their head coach, Marcel Gale. Yeah, expect this Waterhouse team to really come to the party today. TV game behind their home support. They'll make it very difficult for this Mount Pleasant unit. Mount Pleasant with many changes and the changes in the formation as well. 4-5-1 Tafari Chambers between the sticks because there's no Shaquan Davis. Ladale Ritchie, their ever experienced man, centre-back, will take the captain's armband. Malachi Sterling, one of the best players in, in schoolboy football this season, will play the left-back role. Melvin Doxley, St. Lucian, Shaquille Dyer, regular man in the, in the heart of it. Kimoni Bailey has had an impressive season. The dreadlocked, the wide player, Shaquille Bradford, 10 goals so far in the season, although eight of them for Harborview. Gawain Austin, Tevin Shaw, Shandy James, and Daniel Green complete the starting lineup. Green has in being in goal, goal, goal scoring form. Their head coach, Theodore Whitmore. A tough fixture, Nerissa Golson, the lady in charge of it. And Daniel Green early, full match highlights, of course. This was the first half. And Daniel Green letting fly. It was a good save low down from, jo from John Wilson to deny. And then that one off the upright from Daniel Green. He had a pretty good game, Daniel Green. The Mount Pleasant number nine. This allows a touch from Melvin Doxley and Shafane Bryan. Letting fly from distance but couldn't hit the target. As they exchange punches 
in that first half. Now into the second half, Denada Thomas showing his skill on the left hand side of the attack, but couldn't get that on target. And then the corner. Thomas should have done better. Rose well, Denada Thomas. Good connection, but didn't hit the target. And the Waterhouse number 10, his drought continues. He received more of the ball. This was put towards the back post, and Brian was just a bit late. Maybe beaten for pace, Javin Brian. Caught on the back foot as well. Daniel Green continued his quality. He hit the crossbar. Just going over. And then that strike, which was just wide, teed it up as well for Shande James, who couldn't keep his strike down. Malachi Sterling had a pretty good game coming into the starting lineup. Two bites of the chair for Kimoni Boyle. On that occasion, but much to dismay of his fans, he put it over until this moment. He had better in the locker, so much better. A magnificent strike. From Kimoni Bailey. Perfect technique. Just look at how he turned himself sideways. And the instep perfection for Mount Pleasant's number 12. 1 0 after 78 minutes. Mount Pleasant continued to pile on the pressure, Sterling to the back post. But one goal was enough for them to execute an important victory and take them back on top of the table. 1 0. 10 shots, 3 on target for them, just one shot on target from Waterhouse. They were disappointing going forward, just didn't create enough from the open play. There were four yellow cards in it, shown by Narissa Golson. Two saves made by Wilson, two impressive saves off the boot of Daniel Green as well. There was a save for Mount Pleasant in that, and they had nine corners in Mount Pleasant. Majority of the possession and the only goal in this one, Mount Pleasant with the Bob Marley, 1-0 over Waterhouse. Kimoni Bailey, today's man of the match. You certainly have an eye for a spectacular goal. Certainly you wouldn't have scored too many better than that one in your career. Well, um, for me still, I've scored better than that. But, you know, that, that, one, that one was a, a good one also to add to the tally, you know. That was Kimoni Bailey, one of the best wingers in the Jamaica Premier League and one of the best coaches in the Jamaica Premier League now, Marcel Gale. Coach, it was a tight game decided by a moment in the end but what do you think that your team could have done a bit better in that game they said it all i mean it, it's a moment it's a game of moment and you know we're just unlucky today uh you know but i mean it's a, it's a, it's a goal we can't win any game so you know what i mean credit to the um to the to the finisher but i think we should have done better i think we should concentrate i mean in that moment you know but hence it's, it's a game and we have to take our time to come again yeah that was marcel gale moving on now to davian ferguson yeah. mount pleasant assistant coach coach it was a as marcel gale said it was a goal to win any game what do you think about the performance of your team however um today we came here without at least nine or ten of our regular players um we never made that be an issue because we know we had quality in depth um it was a very difficult game we all know waterhouse is a very quality team at home even more difficult but i think the spirit the determination, the guts that we show here today to really dig in deep and get the result all goes well for the future for us. So Mount Pleasant come away with all three points at Jerusalem to lead to the top of the Premier League standings. Much more action still to come as we go to another break. Stay with us.